when I left South Carolina, I was excited. I was going to get to go to Washington, which was a state I I had never really gotten to go to. I had actually been to Washington, but I never got to do anything while I was there except unload furniture because I worked for Atlas Van Lines. But I had planned this awesome freaking adventure, which never really happened. And actually what you're looking at right now is uh, the video of me leaving. That's actually downtown San Diego in California, which uh, I was so happy to leave. Uh, this is the first time I've been on a trip where I just couldn't wait to get back home. There's Coronado Bridge. But anyway, the idea was to fly to Washington and gold pan in Washington and uh, then took a drive from Washington to Oregon to Idaho to Utah to Arizona Nevada and then to California and I had you know I, I just wanted to stop and just get a fucking pan of dirt and pan a little bit of dirt in each one of these states just to say that I had panned it well none of that ever happened and I had also had a big trip planned to walk from Prem Nevada to the Salton Sea that also never happened so there was really no reason to record a bunch of video or do anything cool so here's a bunch of clips in no particular order oh my God. yeah yeah and that, that means more stuff yeah. so yeah today day one washington state i'm already really happy about being here this <laughs> 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 is making heroin in the kitchen hey <laughs> You show them all of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got everything. That's one Even foot. the cat's getting down. Even the cat's doing it. It's resin on my fingers. Tomorrow is 4.20 and we're going to celebrate. I it's going to be wonderful. Look at that, <laughs> Alright, so hey, what's up? Uh, still in Washington. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of this weed I got. Uh, this is... I don't even know the weight on it. This is some of that shit. As you can see, it's it's already ground up and shit. Turn the light. light on. Oh, hold on. Burp. Oh. There we go. Alright. So as you can see, it's all ground up. This stuff is so sticky. I, I went to load a bowl and I was just like tripped out. Oh, it's going to break on me this time. But look at this. This is ground up shit right here. Look at that. Oh, it keeps falling apart. But that's pretty crazy. That's some sticky shit right there. It smells good. Mmm. Got the flavor on it. This is the... Uh, out of all that stuff from the video you just watched it's uh, stuff that a, a friend of my sister and brothers have, uh, that he brought over a bunch of plants and we spent time cleaning them and everything and that was actually on the 19th and I had planned to do a 420 video like I did last year from California of course this time from Washington and just spaced it. I mean, just full on lost sight of everything there. I was going to load myself a bowl here. Actually, I got the vaporizer going here too. In the freaking uh, trailer. I've actually already smoked a bowl. Oh, there we go. I got the last of the stuff I did last night. Uh, yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, I'm not really talking to anyone in particular here, but it's been crazy here. I had planned to do this big ass hike and everything, and all those plans fell through. And it, of course, everybody's telling me not to do it, you know. Which, I mean, it is a 
It's an intense hike I had planned. And a 200 miles, and I figured in about 30 days, you know, through the desert, through the Mojave Desert. And uh, so, yeah, a lot of people were just like, no, not a good idea. We don't want you doing that. So I've changed it. Uh, not going to go the full 200, and and, it, and pretty much everything had fallen through. And but now it looks like things are could be back on. Uh, I mean I don't know that I'm going to get to do that. Well, I'm definitely not going to do the full 200 miles. I might do 60. <laughs> And I figure I could do that. Well, and then there's another spot where I could do just 20 miles, and you know, it's 20. The I mean, you can do that in a day. You know, that's why I wanted to do, you know, 200 miles because there's no way I could do it in a day. I'd be out camping. You know, I'd be out. You know, doing all the stuff that I wanted to do. You know, prospecting for gold and uh, you know, just being out and camping and hiking and doing all that stuff and not have to do anything in the world I have, you know I just have to worry about me I just have to do you know keep myself alive and I don't know anyway they're just and not only that I'm 45 years old now I don't ha I don't have enough time left to try to do something like this later you know there may not even be a later for me hell I could fucking fall out at any time <laughs> you never know I mean, we got heart attack and cancer in our family yeah, I don't know. but anyway I'm just kind of rambling I don't even know that I'll put this on YouTube but <laughs> yeah it's crazy. I mean, it's nice out here. I like this high desert here in Washington State. If you had told me there was a desert in Washington State, I would have laughed at you. This is a desert. There's no doubt a desert. And it, I mean, it's got all the same creatures. Like, I mean, I don't even know how it, we've. I've seen at least four snakes already. And killed one, one rattlesnake. And there are a lot of snakes here. And I saw a horny toad. And that's, I mean, God, I hadn't seen a horny toad since, since I was a kid. I mean, it seemed like all the horny toads in San Diego either died or took off. Actually, I take that back. When I was 24, I saw one on my way to Queen Macca College. And I was going back to school. <laughs> Everybody, uh, that's nothing. I was sitting here just thinking of all the things that, like, people on, uh, like, the survival shows. How they always talk. Well, like, like Survivor Man. He's always tripping on being alone and how it can be hard. And they always, in all the survival shows, when people are left alone, you know, they start talking about the need for human contact. Shit. I talk to myself. <laughs> At least I know the conversation is good. I don't need other people around me. I can't fucking stand other people. My dad can't stand other people. We tolerate each other. <laughs> In that, I mean, having to be around someone all the time. I mean, not all the time, but even, I don't know, even just going to fucking work and having to deal with all those fucking mouth breathers. Jesus Christ. I think we should divvy up the United States, see how much land we have for each single person, and give them that little plot. You know? All right. That way we, we're spread out. Of course, out here, you know, I'm talking about 
enjoying being alone. I'm not alone. I can see other people out here. I see other houses and other trailers and shit like that. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe getting out further would be, it makes some kind of difference. But not with me. I don't know. I guess I've had enough of people to not really be too worried about being alone. If I was the last man on earth, I'd be just fine. Just fine. Matter of fact, my life would improve so much better. No more standards, no more having to worry about what people think or have to say or any of that shit. Just, just do whatever I want to do. Smoke whatever I want to smoke. And that's another thing. I love being in Washington. Oh, man. Just smoking weed and smoking weed and smoking weed. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's fucking wonderful. And not, even if a cop shows up, I'm just like, hey, what's up, dude? Why hit this? <laughs> Legal. I like the the Buddha vaporizers. They're great. They they deliver a good hit. And this is just a rambling video, apparently, because that's what I'm doing, rambling. Pretty high, and I had a beer. What the fuck? So, uh, while my vaporizer heats up, let's go outside and smoke a bowl on the porch without fear, bros and bronettes. Alright, so everybody and his brother has pretty much uh, talked me out of doing my killer, kick-ass, awesome adventure time hike through the desert but I'm still camping and stuff uh, I got a halfway decent camper here <laughs> watching a little TV yeah camping out in Washington nice sunset that's obviously looking to the west all right I'll take you outside all right so here's where I've been staying right here next to the weed been going out and trying to do some prospecting uh, completely unsuccessful so far although we are doing it right I I have found uh, lots of lead <laughs> and tons of iron but uh, yeah it got cold out so I'm making some beans gonna have some beans I'm finally getting to use my uh, spices there that I've had forever that probably won't be any good but I don't care I'm starving so yeah, this is not the roughing it that I had intended. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's still... You can check it out outside. It's pretty cool looking. Pretty. Lots of Virga today. This is the high desert in Washington State. Let's check out out front. The reason I haven't recorded much here is because it's just always so windy. I mean, 
the wind is just unbelievable here and it seems to blow all the time this would be a great area for uh, freaking uh, windmills that's the rock wall that Sis and them made Sis and Kenny there's the rock pile I made one of them The other rock pile I made. Oh yeah, it's as massive as it looks. It's a big ass pile right there. That's a pile of rocks. I made that. And then the other day, see I've been trying to get their uh, roadway, well their whole property up here nice and flat like this here that I've done so I've been using the uh, Maddox right here to break up the ground like that to get rid of holes like that that they had when they tried to tow their trailer out when it was all muddy out here and left a bunch of holes so I've been trying to level out their driveway and and all that I still got a lot of work to do. I also pulled a ton of rock out up here. I mean a ton of rock. All that rock that you see right there. All that rock right there came out of this area right here. All these holes and shit. I still got to get all that up get rid of all this shit here. I'm gonna make him a turnaround that goes around right there and connects with the road that leads out to the main road out that way. And then have it come up here and go a turn around around that rock pile and then an, another exit up there out that way. So that should be cool. I like it out here. I mean, uh, it's not too bad. <clears throat> quiet, very quiet. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and walk over here to this other area. <laughs> I'm switching shit in my hands, so. And I'm walking and my pants are falling down, so I'm doing the uh, shuffle there. Okay, so I gotta clear all that rock out right there and make the driveway go over here. Down to the road over there. Right there, that's the road right there. And I gotta clear this area out. Move all them rocks and everything so that Sis can have a turnaround driveway for her land. Hell yeah. I'm talking about a shit ton of work too. Ow. Tons of sagebrush, sagebrush that, but that's not the problem. I will have it come down through here and I, as you can see, I've already pulled up some of these rocks. And th that is a big rock. That's about two foot from there to up there. And uh, probably weighs 120, 130 pounds maybe. But I, I also moved those. I broke those apart with my, my tools. But I'm going to open this area up so she can have her little turnaround driveway. That's where I've been staying. Pretty cool. Got a little generator out there. Provide me with power. And water and gasoline and my mining tools and my well barrel. And up there I got actually got propane tanks for my gas. So yeah, this is a long, like a, you know, a long way from the trip I had described in my Facebook post about uh, 
120 mile trip through the desert. I mean, I am in the desert. And actually, I do have a, a tent that I have with me. But I'm going to be saving that for my trip to the San Gabriel Mountains with uh, Steve and Colin. Oh man, it's cold. Man, the minute that sun goes down out here, it just, the temperature drops. So my sister and my brother made this uh, rock wall here. Goes all around there. That was their original fire pit. And then they did this down here. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh! I've got enough stuff to burn, but it's just too windy. That's sister's place down there. I just stepped out to have a smoke and ran into this guy. He's about four foot long. <laughs> Snakes all over this motherfucker. There's old big boy again. He's checking the plates out.
It looks like a gopher snake, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But you can see he's pretty long. Watch my step around here. <laughs> so as you can see, the trip I had planned that was going to be so awesome turned into just me hanging out, which is pretty much I what I do anyway. Uh, <laughs> so disappointing. I was gone for almost three months and just never... Never got to do shit. Even when I got to California, you know, I thought, okay, cool. I'm finally, I'm here. I'm with my best friend. And, of course, he's having some issues. And just <laughs> fucking nothing went right, you know. All I wanted to do was beat the shit out of people when I left. So, uh, if you stuck around to watch this much of this fucking video, you deserve a medal. Um, but whatever. Y'all take care. Try to have a good one. Laters.